Hey guys, I'm Beth, and you may know me from the YouTube channel Entertaining with Beth, but my YouTube career actually started right here on this channel. My full-time job is working at Kin. I run the programming and production department. Every week when I'm able to like put together a video and I'm usually racing to the last minute because you know I've got the full-time job, I have my two kids, I have a two-hour commute every day, but I want to make sure that I never miss it because I know that there are people that are waiting for that. And I always knew that food had the ability to bring people together, but it wasn't until a few months ago that I actually realized how powerful that could be. I'm Saja Khalid Abdeli, a mother of two beautiful girls. Hello! Hello. I'm an Iraqi living in Jordan. I was supposed to be like an instructor in the university. I specialized in education management. Then I have the chance to finish my studies abroad in Jordan. All the process was overwhelming to me. After I finished my studies, I struggled to find a job. And after all the rejections, I lost faith in myself and in my capabilities. We needed to find a way to take care of each other. With all these things going on, cooking in the kitchen was really a relaxing time for me. It wasn't like a complicated process. I just put things together. After that, experimenting and trying new recipes, I was already subscribed to Beth's channel on YouTube. I figured it out why I don't make it like a banana bread and it started. I made my first banana bread, but this is the way I make it like my own recipe. We remove the chocolate, we put cardamom, golden raisin and walnuts. Everybody loved it. Then why not trying to sell it? And with my first paycheck, I was jumping on the bed, literally jumping. I was so happy and thrilled. I felt like I owe it to Beth to write her a thank you email. I was going through a week that was like just a little bit hard and I was sort of thinking, why am I doing this? Like it's all maybe becoming a bit too much. And that's when I found this email and the subject line said, life-changing banana bread. And I opened it and it was Sage's email. And being a mom that's also supporting two kids, I could really relate to her story. I think the thing that's so cool about sharing recipes is that they keep living, they keep going, and they travel the world sometimes and you don't actually know where they're gonna end up and how they're gonna affect people. The goal has always been to share recipes that mean something to me and my family in the hopes that one day they'll mean something to somebody else in their family. And the story with Sasia, it really reconfirmed why I'm doing this. And since Sasia was such a fan of my banana bread, I thought it was only fair that I asked her for one of her recipes. When I first received the recipe from Seja for the arug, I was really intrigued by it. And I decided I was gonna make it with some the traditional bread and see how it turns out. There's a ton of vegetables that go into it. And just the colors of it and how beautiful it is as you keep adding all of these minced vegetables. The spices are interesting too. There's curry powder and cinnamon, turmeric, and all these spices that are probably very familiar to her, but that I don't cook with a lot. And smelling those spices and realizing that this is definitely part of her daily experience. I think it's a way to kind of share a little bit of somebody's culture by cooking their food. Why I specifically choose this recipe for Beth? Because it's very Iraqi and very authentic. Every Iraqi mom knows how to make this dish. It reminds me of the small streets where the smell of this dish is coming out from the houses and it's everybody's favorite. I think for me, it's all about just sharing good food so that people can ultimately connect. Surprisingly enough, people liked my cooking and they keep encouraging me then me and Shireen, we started this thing together called Hearty Munchies. Basically about healthy snacks, salads, and uh, energy bites. It's a full-time job. Whatever it needs, how long it needs, I will give it my time and my full effort. I think because I'm happier now, I'm in a better place in my life. 
what I have learned through this dinner exchange that people are people everywhere and also great women inspire each other. You normally don't get a lot of opportunities in life to connect with strangers, but there's always this like beautiful thing that can happen. Hopefully I'm inspiring my girls to be stronger women, more independent women. I hope my story will inspire some people to do what they like to do, not what others expect them to do. This has been such an incredible experience for me. Seja, keep doing what you're doing. I wish the best for you and your kids, and I look forward to seeing your business grow. She's an inspiration. Her words really encouraged me to keep doing this. Thank you for responding to my email. God bless you.